Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I want to check out this pretty crazy looking flight controller. And what makes it look crazy is none other than this huge capacitor that is soldered right onto the board and just sticking and attached and it's like, we normally don't see this. You may see this on an ESC, well, not even natively. They'll just give you one on the side and you solder it on in a convenient location. This flight controller packs so much of a punch that they had to put a full-size electrolytic capacitor right on top. And it caught my eye and I said, you know what? Let's dive in and take a look. Let's go. All right, pilots, so here's the deal. This is the iFlight Thunder H7 flight controller, and H7 is overkill. We all know that. The freaking MCU is like this big, and it's monstrous, and it's so powerful, and it has so many peripherals, and I just love it. Do we need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. I love having all that power and I wouldn't sacrifice it for anything. I don't care about the extra money because it's not that much more expensive. But it makes my flight controller that much more powerful. I can run that much more crazy of a PID loop and I have all the peripherals I could ever ask for. Let's dive in and take a quick look at this crazy looking flight controller. So I'm gonna pop the top. This is an iFlight container. It comes very nice. It is the iFlight Thunder H7. As you can see, the main, main feature and the main, main reason why this flight controller is the way that it is, we're gonna go over, and that is why 2RAW wanted this. But let's take a look. When you pop the top, <laughs> now, are you noticing what I'm noticing? The flight controller is actually in there crooked. And the reason why is because it's so dang beefy that they can't fit it in their regular cutout. So it's actually turned at an angle because they had to create this hole for this monstrous capacitor. Oh my God. What a beautiful board though. I can't wait to dive in and check it out closer. But before we do, let's see. Oh, oh. Let's see what comes in this box. So if you remove your foam, pop up your cutout. Doo -doo. Now, could they have just made a custom foam? I mean, I guess they could, but they didn't really need to. And we're going to see that it comes with some nice black grommets. You've got a couple smalls and some bigs. You've got some huge connectors. Look at this multi, multi pin connector. And the reason why there's so many we're going to go over is because this flight controller doesn't just do four motors. It can do eight motors. And that is why this monstrosity of a connector is so big. And then you've got your others, right? Maybe GPS, maybe an LED, maybe a receiver, maybe your DJI air unit. Then you've got this cool dealio here which is an extension and these are fun. Let me show you this. And you've even got an insulated wire to help prevent against any type of interference or EMI or anything like that. Last but not least, oh, there's a hidden piece in here. What is this? Oh, we've got a little protector. Look at that. That is so you can lay this underneath or, on, well, on top is going to be tough, but you can lay this underneath and prevent anything from touching, sparking, short circuiting, anything like that. Depending on what you mount against or mount nearest, you may want to use that. And last but not least, we have this very awesome connector. And what makes this very cool is you've got a plug so you can plug it so no dirt or nothing like that gets in. But the real reason for this is because this flight controller, like we talked about earlier, and the purpose of this flight controller is for big boy toys. You got that right. Maybe big cinematic drones, right? Maybe X-Class drones, right? You know what a sin lifter is, uh-huh. These things get get big, they get powerful, they become just, bah, they're monstrosities. So the reason why you may need this is because once you get your flight controller in the middle and you get this huge drone closed up, 
you're not going to be able to reach it. So what they've done is they've basically given you an extension. So you're able to use these mounting holes right here and you can mount this way off towards the end, bolt it in, make your connection and run it all the way back to the flight controller. And then when you need to make any changes or tuning or whatever, it's right there ready to go for you. Now, why would you need that? Because this bad boy does 12S right out of the box. Woo! It's got all the filtration you could ask for right on board. It's got eight motor input. This is your ultimate flight controller for any type of X-Class, any type of big sin lifter. It runs Ardu Pilot. This thing is wicked. You are not going to want to sleep on this. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. So right next to this monster capacitor, which is heat shrinked, is more capacitors. Look at that. Filtration out the behind. And then we've got 30 by 30 mounting. Then you've got your H7 microcontroller unit, and they are just beautiful. They are big, and they are full of power. You've got a boot button right here. You've got LEDs laid out so you know what's going on, making sure that your communication is well. And what they've done is they've given you solder pads on the top to solder up everything that you want to solder. But if you don't want to solder, you just flip this bad baby over and everything on the bottom has connectors. You can connect everything from your GPSs to your receivers to your VTXs slash air units and they could be you know, HD0 or DJI, they are ready to go. And then right here is the Big Mac Daddy. Double power, double ground, and eight motors worth of options ready to go. You've got two Becks right here on board. One is gonna be five volts, and the other one is gonna be 10 volts. So that means you're gonna be able to do whatever it is that you need to do. You've got 512 megabytes of onboard flash. So any black boxing, ready to go. All right, flipping this back over, you've got the gyro built in. It is an ICM 42688P. That is a very nice gyro. We've got a barometer, which isn't always included on flight controllers, but on this one it is, and it is right. Yeah. And then if I flip it back over, we can continue going through. And if you notice, I'll flip both sides. There is no OSD chip. So this is made to have some sort of HD, like Walk Snail or HD Zero, DJI, something that has built in OSD because this flight controller doesn't have it, doesn't need it, okay? It's got the 512 flash that we talked about. You've got six UARTs. Whoo! Wrapped up all up in this board, all right? You've got your I2C serial, which is very nice. That is if you want to do your, uh, you know, GPS or anything along that nature. You've got WS2812 support. If you don't know what that is, that is your LED. That is LED controllable support, okay? You've got beeper pads on board, and what else could you possibly ask for? I mean, this is a beautiful Mac Daddy board, ready to go. You can solder or connect. It doesn't matter. And this is going to be designed for anybody who wants to do a sin lifter or any type of X class or anything more than 6S. If you're going 8S, 10S, 12S, this is going to do it right out of the box. And if you don't really know what that means is I have an X class up here. I even have a mini quad that's 12S that I recently did. I'll link the video for you. It is a nasty monster. It takes two 6S batteries ran in series. That's 12S. That is a lot of voltage, okay? And when you build something like that, and so, that thing is a screamer, you got to check that video out. But when you build something like that, you always got to spend the money and the time with some sort of PDB. That is a power distribution board. And why do you need that? Well, because your ESC can handle it. It has to handle it. So you have to have an ESC that can handle it. And then for your flight controller, nine out of 10, nine and a half out of 10, they can't handle it. So now you've got to have a PDB to distribute the power, break it down, take this voltage and that voltage and lower it and raise it and me, 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 and send it out to everywhere that it needs to go. But when you've got something like this that can just handle it raw, right out of the box, it is a win. 
or you can just buy this thing and rock it and know that if you ever do want to upgrade, you ain't got to worry about it. But I would probably stick to this only if you're going to do something like Sin Lifter or X Class because at a $110 price tag, this is pretty damn hefty. So, all right, pilots, I saw that cap on board and I thought we've got to check this out. So, I'm glad that we did. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did, and I will see you on the next one.